Perspective on Florida Gateway College Television is sponsored by Nutrien. Nutrien, feeding the future. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Perspective. This is a public affairs presentation of Florida Gateway College. It is also a public affairs presentation of WQHL, the Big 98, and WCJX, the X. We appreciate the listeners to those two radio stations who are joining us today. My guest on the program is Vanessa Jackson. She's the development director for the March of Dimes here in North Central Florida. She's at walks every spring. She's at five or six walks uh, for babies for the March of Dimes. We're going to talk about the upcoming walk on May the 5th here in Columbia County. We'll do that when we come back. Don't go away. Retired school psychologist and helping people was my thing. After my stroke, when Meals on Wheels started, I was on the other end of the stick, so to speak, and I appreciated it very much, the attention that was given. <laughs> my name is Julius Gaines, creative writer, poet, photographer. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Welcome back to Perspective on Florida Gateway College Television. Vanessa Jackson has been with the March of Dimes for a couple years now, and she makes another appearance with us today to talk about the Walk for Babies, which is happening on May the 5th. Welcome to the program. Thank you. I appreciate you having me, Mike. You know, I, I, we want to talk about, because there are new viewers, there are new listeners to this program all the time. We want to kind of let them know how the March of Dimes started. And, and it, it's really a, an interesting story about kids collecting dimes. Yes, it is. And it started, uh, well, actually, this is our 80th anniversary. So 80 years ago, um, President Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt yes, was president, I believe. Yes, he was. And um, he suffered from polio and wanted to help find a cure so that no other children had to suffer with that. And um, so he started the March of Dimes. He asked everyone, if you could even just bring in a dime, which is how we got our name, March of Dimes. And uh, they funded the research for Jonas, Dr. Jonas Salk, who found the cure for polio. And so what does a organization do after they set a goal and they reach it, they find a new one. And so that's when they diverted their attention to prematurity. Well, you know, and, and for many, many years, I think probably 20 years that we've done this program, uh, we've always had um, a baby on that, that has been affected. The, the March of Dimes, uh, their, their view of things now is to help curb premature births. Yes. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. There's education is number one. Absolutely. Number one thing that the March of Dimes does. Talk about that and when, when someone gets pregnant, what they should be doing, what they should be looking at. Well, one of the things that um, we have found that does cause prematurity is certainly smoking while you're pregnant. So certainly any sort of cessation of drinking or smoking uh, would be helpful for sure. Um, but we actually have a, a new thing out, which they are, it's a progesterone shot. And some women they have found need this. And so that's one of the things they're coming out big with now and doing a lot of conferences and training for doctor's offices and so that's one of the the big things on the horizon here well and let's talk about uh, the support that the the uh, march of dimes gives when you have a, 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 a someone who's going into childbirth and it's very very premature what happens when they go to the NICU down in gainesville or if they go to jacksonville depending on where their physician is where does the March of Dimes step in to kind of provide that assistance? That yes, we actually have a staffed person at the NICU um, and the, the closest one to us would be the one down in Shands in Gainesville. And what I don't think that people understand is, and I certainly didn't because I wasn't affected with prematurity, but when a baby is born really early and they have to stay months at a time, Moms and dads can't always be there. Um, they have to go back to work, they have other children they have to take care of, and they have to trust the doctors and nurses, but that our staff person there is a liaison, a liaison for them, 
as well. They hold classes um, to help them understand. They hold support groups for the parents. They have nights where even other children might come and they'll have some sort of games or activities for the, the older children that would come. And just that support that they need, someone that they can go to with questions or fears or concerns um, during that. In fact, she just led a tour for us and several other people uh, two weeks ago when we were down there. We'll have to go on that tour because yes. I think that would be very yes. interesting to see the, uh, how small these, these children yes. are. I mean, it's, yes. you're, you're talking about the size well, of a, less than a loaf of bread, maybe a yes. half a loaf of bread. Well, an example that I um, give in the elementary schools, and I've had an opportunity to go into four elementary schools here in uh, Lake City that are supportive of what we do. And one of the illustrations that I give is that you take a ring, just an average size ring for an adult, and for those that are the micro preemies, this would go all the way up their arm. So if you think about this ring goes on this finger and you're looking at that finger, that's the size of their arm. So, I mean, your one pound, three ounce babies, I mean, they're gonna fit in the palm of your hand. How important is it for the families to have someone, a volunteer, or perhaps someone who's gone through this before to be there to comfort them to oh, I think because it's vital. you know every, there are so many unknowns when a, a baby yes. is born prematurely you yes. don't know whether the baby is going to survive and not every not every story is a good outcome absolutely it's not and I think it's vital to have that support and I think you know like for our um, our liaison there CJ she provides that and she gets other parents together where they can talk and communicate and maybe one is their baby's been in the NICU for three months versus one who just came in and they can talk and you know because it's a day-to-day -day battle for those babies and you might have a good day and then you have a down day and then you have a it's back and forth and you especially for those that are in there four and five months. Now is that the norm sometimes? That if you have a micro preemie now when you say yes. might, uh, micro, that... okay, so basically um, a baby that is born full term is between 39 and 40 weeks. Then you might have some that are premature, maybe four to six weeks, maybe even eight weeks early. But then you have some that are born three months early and at 25, 26 weeks. And they are the ones that are going to spend the longest time. Usually they do not leave the NICU until their actual due date when they would have been born. That's usually about the time that they leave the NICU. And, and for those who are not familiar with childbirth, when the child comes, the child comes. There's no, yes. th Correct. Th this, this, when this happens, um, it's unexpected. Absolutely. Uh, it's, now, do, do, do some families know that it's gonna be happening? Or do I a lot of- I think there are some, yes, if they have certain um, conditions, and especially multiples. Uh, they they sort of anticipate that they're going to come early. So sometimes that is the case. In fact, we talked with a mother actually when we were touring the NICU several weeks ago and she had twins and um, they lost the one twin in utero and the other one had failure to thrive. So she knew that, that, that they were going to have to take the baby. And believe it or not, he was strong. I mean, he he couldn't have been he might have fit in my two hands. He was so tiny, but he was actually off of everything, doing very well. But they said because those babies that have to fight so hard in the womb, um, when they are born, they already are, I guess, almost conditioned to have to fight uh, for life. And uh, But he was doing well. He was doing great. But she knew, obviously, that they were going to have to take the baby early. Well, and, and what we're going to be talking about here in, in the next segment is the actual walk for, for, yes. for babies. Uh, but uh, in February, you did sort of a kickoff uh, at the local Holiday Inn here in Lake City. And here we have uh, some of the, the festivities that you've got yes. some folks that have gone through um, a premature birth. And... Um, you, yes. You've got some potential teams. You're, you're, yes. you're really talking things up, trying to get people to, to get involved and get a team together. We had a lot of new teams this year. We had a very successful kickoff. We're very excited. We actually doubled the number of elementary schools that are participating this year. And I've had a chance to go out and do walk manias with them. Um, Pine Mount Elementary is involved, Westside Elementary, 
Five Points Elementary and actually Richardson Sixth Grade Center or Academy. Uh, was I was able to go and, and spend a day with all of their students and really just had a great time. That's my favorite part of the job is when I get to go spend time with the students. And, and I think we have some video of, of our poster child. Uh, yes. There she is. There's Kendall. This is Kendall Olive and her parents. Yes. Keith. They she will be at the walk. She is Yes, she will. She, she was born premature and you yes. look at this little girl go. Um, you would never know it, would you? Look at her. She is so precious and full of energy. Um, but she has done very well. She spent about four months in the NICU. Wow. Yes, she was a micro preemie and uh, but she is just doing so well. Those are her parents, Keith and Misty Olive. And uh, that's our ambassador. You know, family and, this and, year. and it's it's so good to see the the success, you know, of, yes. of someone who has has, has thrived and is now a, a little girl that's yes. probably going to go to elementary school. Yes. And, and will and the parents uh, yes. think so much of what the March of Dimes yes. did that they are allowing their child to be uh, a lot of uh, yes. on the posters and things yes. like that. We're going to talk some more about the upcoming walk, which is taking place on May the 5th. It is the first uh, Saturday in May, which also yes. signifies the Kentucky Derby. Uh, but it's in the morning, and the Kentucky Derby, as you know, only takes a couple minutes. But yes. there'll, be, there'll be parties and things going all yes. afternoon, so you yes. still have plenty of time to participate. Get your exercise in uh, on the 5th of May at Darby Pavilion over there by Lakeshore Hospital. We're talking to Vanessa Jackson. She's the development director for the March of Dimes. You're watching Perspective on Florida Gateway College Television and you're listening on WQHL and WCJX. We'll be right back. college education what are you gonna do graduate and take some office job be like everybody else or will you dare do something different like be a teacher you could be my teacher you got the skills the smarts yes you you could be the teacher i never forget that would be cool does that corporate job even have recess what are you gonna make of yourself what are you gonna make of me Welcome back to Perspective on Florida Gateway College Television. Vanessa Jackson is the Development Director for the March of Dimes. You've got some new things that are happening this year. Uh, you, uh, let me ask you first, how many, how many walks do you go to? I go to four. Four. Four so back to back. Is, is this the last one? Is, is the, this, one? This, uh, the Swanee Valley Lake City one, that is the last one. The first one we just had this past Saturday in Alachua County uh, down in Gainesville, and it was a wonderful now, success. Talk, talk a little bit about that because that was kind of neat when you told me that it, where it took place. Yes, for 30 years it's been in the same place in, in Gainesville and this year they got a signature sponsor. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, that was a platinum sponsor from Celebration Point down where the Bass Pro Shop is and all of that area and so they moved the walk and it's going to be there for at least the next three years and they are doing some great things down there. It was a wonderful place to have the walk. The weather was beautiful, but we had a tremendous turnout. It was really great. Uh, and you hope to have the same thing happen here. Um, I noticed that you, you've got, uh, and this is, this is not, this, this is a card. It's a and route it, card. It, this is not the uh, card for this walk. It's uh, for the one in Putnam, Black, Putnam mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so it has the route on the back of it and it has this card that talks about the details. You have to have this if you want to participate, correct. correct? Yes, if you want to participate with the lunch afterwards. Which, which is Sunny's, be, right? Yes, Sunny's and Panda Express will be helping us out with that. And uh, but so you need a route card to be able to get your lunch. So uh, the, the march starts, I guess, at 8 o'clock or your registration's at 8? Registration is at 8 and the walk begins at 9. Uh, should people prepare? Oh, sure. Well, you know, and, and the reason I say this, a five mile Walk, yes. Right. It's yes. five five miles, and if you're not used to walking this distance, I, yes, I agree. You and I know that some people are 
brave and they'll run a little right. bit, yes. walk a little bit. And, right. Um, but you really need to prepare. Right, absolutely. Make sure you wear good walking shoes, tennis shoes. Um, but yes, it is a five mile walk, but it really is a beautiful walk through some of the neighborhoods. And but you're right, it was most people are not used to walking five miles. So and some of it will be uphill because it goes there past the DOT when it goes up the up the hill it, exactly toward back toward the the uh, Derby Pavilion. And yes. that's kind of a neat place to to have. That's where the food yes. will be served. Uh, you mentioned that you've got some elementary schools. Mm -hmm. This used to be almost exclusively elementary schools yes, um, yes. that would participate and middle schools and high schools. Mm -hmm. and we're trying to get back to that again? We are trying to get back to that. I went and actually spoke to all the principals um, of all the schools this year and fortunately we had some that decided to come on board and we're hoping for even more next year. Um, but we'd also incorporate um, like Lake City Dance Arts will come and their little preschoolers are going to do a presentation for us and the kids at Supple Vita Karate are going to come do something. We'll have live music, we'll have face painting, a bouncy house, so it really is a family affair. Well, and it's going to be about children because yes. this is, this is, a, this is a, an event for babies yes. and for children who, who right. have survived. And again, uh, when you're making a contribution, do you still do I'm going to walk this many miles, here's five bucks, or how does that no, work No, that's not how we do it anymore. Most people... Geez, that's, I'm just old. Yes, and, I, and I, I did I, the same thing. And I'm sure there, and I'm just going to yes. say this, that there are listeners out there that remember the days when you'd get pledges oh, yes. to walk a certain amount. That doesn't happen anymore. T no. tell, us, tell us how you participate now. Well, in fact, they used to have the dime card where people yeah. used to go and put the dimes in the dime card. Yes, now, honestly, a lot of people raise money through social media, through Facebook. Um, they put their link out there, say what they're you know, supporting, and if you would like to donate, a lot of teams raise money that way. But I, people have bake sales, they have garage sales, they have all kinds of things like that. Um, to how they raise money. In well, fact, Oda Moses is uh, auctioning off a, a bracelet that someone had made. It's beautiful. I actually put my name in the hat and my money in the hat for that. So um, that's so one of the things in which they're doing. There's different ways. And I, and I remember we did a uh, Signature Chefs uh, auction at one time, yes. which was also a fundraiser. Absolutely. Not doing that anymore. Correct. But we're doing something similar. Well, actually now we're strictly doing the walk in this county. And we're so all the money. All, yes, so all that's, of our that's why that's so important yes, now. Yes, exactly. To raise as much money, so yes. you don't. Because I think a, a lot of times things run its course. They do. And and they do. I mean, it's I bless their heart. Vern and Maureen Lloyd yes. started started uh, the the miracle on Marion, Marion Street. Yes. When they down at the old Blanche Hotel, they would Correct. have uh, um, these. Christmas trees, yes. there would be music, there would be food, and, yes. and then it moved to the Toyota dealership mm -hmm. over time. Bobby Goldsboro, actually the singer from the 60s, uh, participated in it really? one year. Um, but uh, it, it, again, there's so many things that are right. happening. There's so many opportunities for you to give Yes. And that, you know, Correct. Do it all good in one fell Well, one and there's swoop. so many people vying for the same dollars, as we all know, and so many great organizations out there. And we just knew that our county, being the size that it is, that one event per year for our organization was going to be for the best. And I feel like in that way we can put all our efforts into what we're doing and really trying to make this a big deal. Yeah, and so if you want to get a team, I mean, do you have to walk? You do you know, not I, have I, again, to walk, I, no. You know, I, I, I probably could make a five mile walk, right. but maybe not. Maybe well, I, and, I give out about toward the right. end. Right, well, and maybe you have another event on that day that you have to be at or whatever, but no, you do not have to walk. Um, certainly we love for you to be there and participate, but you don't have to. But so you, if you wanted to raise a couple hundred bucks and make a contribution. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we actually can, have an app now, a March for Babies app that you can download on your phone. You can do it all through there. I mean, you know, we're, catching up to the 20th century so you can do that and uh, or go online on, on the website as well so um, so and I wanted to, to mention the the money raised majority of it stays in this community mm -hmm. uh, but some goes to research talk yes. about the March of Dimes research and I mean the, the one thing that comes to mind is the the, the surfactant Yes. that was created mm -hmm. and if you would explain a little bit sure. about how the lungs don't develop in babies that are born prematurely. Sure, uh, one of the things that does happen for premature babies is that their lungs are not developed 
And so through the research of the March of Dimes, they um, came up with a shot of something called surfactant and that moisturizes the lungs and helps these babies to breathe. And in fact, I was at Westside Elementary um, a couple of weeks ago, I'm sorry, Pine Mount Elementary, and there were some triplets that were at that school that had, um, they had to have the surfactant. They were born premature and needed that. So it was kind of interesting to see them. And of course they're in second or third grade now and doing, doing fine and, and doing great. So, but that is one of the things, but we actually have five research centers across the United States and each research center is studying something different, another cause or you know factor uh, in prematurity and coming up with that. And they recently did identify a gene that um, if you have that, you might be predisposed to so having So you could take precautions, your yes. OBGYN could mm -hmm. take precautions yes. to see that the, maybe you don't exert yourself during right. the pregnancy. Uh, right. But I, I know another thing that comes to mind is folic acid yes. um, was mm -hmm. another uh, finding of the research from the March Absolutely. of Dimes. During pregnancy, yes. take folic acid. Yes, and that pre prevents the neural tube defects. And that's what I try to explain to all the kids at the elementary schools where I was at is you're all March of Dimes babies. If you've had a polio vaccination, if you had the APGAR score after you were born, of course, babies don't know that they had that, but parents do. Um, if you had the heel prick, if your mom took folic acid, then you are a March of Dimes baby. So we all are affected by the research that's come through this organization. Now you said Raymond James is, is doing something with, mm -hmm. with an auction. Moses. Are mm -hmm. there other, because I remember at one time the, the local banks would all compete against each other to see who I'm could I'm trying raise. to get that going Are again. Are you? Yes, I, yes. It was really kind of an interesting thing because yes. some of these banks, I mean, yeah. they're very, very competitive. Well, uh, and they're all doing really well selling the candy bars. That's one of the big fundraisers that most people do, and they're really selling those candy bars. But right now we have Vistar. They're actually one of our silver sponsors. Odom and Moses is a silver sponsor. People State Bank is a silver sponsor. Um, Columbia Bank is involved as a team, so we've got we've got several. So now, you can get these chocolate. But you notice I went right to chocolate. Of course, you said yes. That, uh, <laughs> chocolate is you get it at the drive-through window. Uh, you can, and oh, First Federal actually is involved too. They're one of our gold sponsors, so can't forget them. They're and, and selling these, it. Buy Star selling it. People State Bank is selling it. Yes. In the tube. <laughs> yes. That's chocolate right. bars can fit in that little tube. Absolutely. That, that you when when you're getting yes. a check cash. Uh, so there is a little competition. I'm, I'm yes. sure there, there'll be behind the scenes uh, right. competition. Yes. With that. Uh, yes. But what, which elementary schools do you have? Pine Mount, West Side, Five Points, and then Richardson Sixth Grade Academy. Okay, so there are other schools, uh, Melrose, so that's, Summers, Yeah, that's Columbia who we're City, wanting to get on board. Yes, I'm that's just going right. to throw those names yes. out there. If there's anybody out there listening, if there's some principals at those mm -hmm. schools, it really doesn't take much to, to no. get involved. Mm -mm. Really it doesn't. doesn't. Yes, no, it doesn't at all. And and I think the kids really enjoy when I come out and give my demonstration and I, I bring the different size diapers and, you know, of course the ring, they get to try that on. And then they we actually do another example of where you get a coffee stir and try to breathe in and out through that, with, of course, without, don't breathe through your nose, just through, and it they see how difficult it is. And that just gives them maybe a visual example of um, what these babies go through when we say it's hard for them to breathe. They can understand. Well, you know, the, f the fun thing about this is you're, a lot of kids don't get out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just right. flat out say that, right. that they mm -hmm. don't get out, they don't get out. This is an opportunity for your kid to walk for five miles, yes, that's right. raise money for something, teach, teach them giving back yes. uh, to a charity, not a, not a right. I don't want to say charity, but to a cause. Sure that has been instrumental in saving children's lives for yes. more than 80 years. Yes. So uh, if you want more information, we're gonna give you an opportunity to do that when we come back. Uh, Vanessa Jackson is the development director for the March of Dimes. Their march, their walk, uh, whatever you wanna call it, for babies is on May the 5th. It is uh, the first Saturday in May. Uh, it'll start at Darby Pavilion. They'll register you at eight o'clock. Uh, we'll finish things up here on Perspective on Lakes or Florida Gateway College Television and WCJX and WQHL when we come back. Don't go away. Because an openly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoking. It looks as if smoking is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. And finally, 
a close view. Is it cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh. My bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Welcome back to Perspective, our final segment of the program today uh, with uh, Vanessa Jackson. Um, again, you got to have one of these. Yes. Um, where do where do I go to sign up if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sign up? Do I just do it all online or you can do that? Um, but you where will do, not actually get, get you you will get that whenever you come to the walk site at Darby Pavilion. So you when you register, mm -hmm. you, yes. you you register and mm -hmm. now have you basically have raised all the money already. Some right. teams are still still raising money. They're still raising funds. Some of the teams we have our sponsors in place, right. but a lot of the teams are they will raise money all the way up until the day of the walk. How late will you take a sponsor? At this point, we've already created our banner, so so the we're, sponsors we're yeah. done with our sponsors. But if you now, wanted yes. to consider for next year, do, consider doing it again next year. Absolutely. Uh, again, springtime, um, March, April, May is yes. when this. This occurs. This is what the card is going to look like. Um, if you don't have one of these, uh, you're not going to be able to get free lunch. But Sunny's and Panda Express, two great sponsors that are providing the meals for the event. Again, marchforbabies.org events or, or forward slash events forward slash Swanee Valley uh, is where you get more information. That's probably where yes. you can get the app to yes. download the app. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, in, you can search the app store for that. And okay. it's just March for Babies. And you, um, if you want to bring cash, there's a number. We'll what, what, let's too. see, 386-406-0808. Uh, she Correct. will actually go to your place and pick your cash up. Um, sure, yes, we um, will do that. And I will tell you too, I don't want to leave out Dunkin' Donuts. They provide donuts and coffee oh, in the morning before the walk. To get so you going. I don't want to leave them out. Yeah, you got your, your, your day starts with Dunkin' on the uh, 5th of May. Yes. V Vanessa, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. I know this has been the fourth or fifth time you've done yes. the show and yes. it gets easier and easier every time we do it. So right. we know what we're talking about. Exactly. But, uh, and I thank you for watching Perspective and I thank you for listening to Perspective on the two great radio stations from uh, WCJX 106.5 and WQHL. Until next time, please contribute to the March of Dimes, a great cause. We'll talk to you soon.